I like wish I could tell you guys this super cool story. But we went through like a hundred names. Servana was like, what about Charlie? And I was like, huh, I really like that name. Like it's strong, it's not like short for anything. It's just Charlie. We kind of told my family like, Charlie. And they were like, hmm, Charlie. I don't love it. And I was like, okay, we like it even more now that our family doesn't love it. Hi, sweet girl. There we go. There we go, baby girl. She was the perfect baby. She slept well. She ate well, like I had no trouble breastfeeding. She was just such a good baby. I remember the first time that she laughed. Did you sleep well? And then same thing when she walked for the first time. It wasn't like two, three, four steps. She took like 12 steps in a row. And I was like, okay, like stop. Okay, it's, it's enough. Servando calls her La Flecha, which is like arrow, because when she like sees something, she just goes for it. And she's just like, there's no stopping her, no getting in her way. This girl, she's stubborn like her parents. Outside of the foot. <laughs> Life a year ago and life now is like, couldn't be more different. So, day three of Servando quarantining in our guest bedroom. And as much as I love baby girl, I can't really work out. It's been really hard, to be honest. Because not only do I not have help, but I have no physical touch with Servando. I, you know, we can't kiss, we can't hug. He can't really hold Charlie or do anything with us in close proximity. There's not really a handbook of how to come back from pregnancy. Okay. Workout number one. So, one more week until I head to Orlando and finally can get into team training. I feel like I've been training on my own forever. On 11 weeks postpartum and out at training by myself again. Okay, so literally, torrential downpour. I mean, there's no way to hide it. Like, it, it was really difficult. And you have to kind of just give yourself and your body, like, the time and space it needs. I think as much as I can bring awareness to what female athletes are faced with every day is important. Oh, you are, I'm sorry. Okay, mom, gonna feed you right As now. a female athlete that becomes a mom, like we wanna continue to be at the top of our game and to do so, we need to be supported in all ways. It's a process and we can't do it alone. I see together as something that I'm so proud of because it's able to to be what I've wanted so many other things to be. I've seen firsthand the underinvestment and <laughs> women being undervalued and women being underappreciated and undercovered for years and years.
as much as a splash that Together made for its launch, like the hopes and the expectations of Together is gonna continue to raise, and that's what I'm excited for. It's great to align myself with partners that really are investing in women, and that's what at and is doing. More things happen with the team than individual. 